It's 1803 and the Napoleonic Wars are just beginning. However, the conflicts in Europe are the least of President Thomas Jefferson's problems. France and the UK are major trading partners, but since they're at war, they want to prevent American trading goods from reaching their enemies. French ships attack American ships headed to the UK, and vice versa. But it gets worse. The British push it too far. They begin to impress captured American sailors, forcing them to become soldiers for the crown. Wait, are those Brits? That Lego doesn't seem quite right. Welcome to His Majesty's Royal Navy. Bloody hell! As impressment continued, anger spread. The Chesapeake Leopard Affair, in which an American ship was attacked by the British off the coast of Virginia, quickly made war fervor worse. In the winter of 1807, Thomas Jefferson came before Congress to request an embargo. My fellow Americans, our merchandise is threatened on the high seas by the belligerent powers of Europe, and it is of great importance to keep the safety of these essential resources. I propose an embargo. The Embargo Act of 1807 was quickly passed, ending all trade with Britain and France. The act was seen by many as an alternative to war, but it also quickly turned catastrophic. Total exports fell from $108 million to just $22 million. Harbors filled up with idle ships. 30,000 sailors lost their jobs. The economy plummeted. After two years of hardship, Jefferson had had enough. In March 1809, three days before leaving office, he signed into law the Non-Intercourse Act, which repealed the embargo. And it be further enacted that the Embargo Act be hereby repealed. However, this is little to settle the problem. British ships continued to impress American sailors. In fact, as the impressment continued, war fever again spread. Soon, Americans demanded war with Britain. British impressment would leave the next president with a difficult war ahead, the War of 1812.